Hi, I'm Ken Scott Brown from Abate University. One of the things that we're interested in here is in how eye movements inform and tell the brain about the world. So what we did recently was we got a visit from Lizzie Crundle at Traxis and did a little golf experiment using these eye movement recording glasses. What we got was we got a complete beginner, Bela, to line up some putts and take some putting strokes. And then what you can see here on this video is the uh, red cursor on the video is, is where his eyes are moving. And what you can see is they make rapid movements all over the scene as he's hitting the stroke. However, what we can see now is if you look at myself, I had a go and used a lot of the tricks and tips that I've learned at Golf Academy. I'm just an amateur golfer, but I've been, been to a few uh, golf lessons. And you can see, not only do I take more time to uh, line up the shot, make uh, a series of intermediate aiming points during the shot, but you can see during the actual stroke, the eye stays dead still on the back of the ball, all the way through the stroke, through impact and beyond. And what uh, sports science research is beginning to find is that when you make a putting stroke in this way, literally keeping your eye on the ball, but then keeping it on the ball after the ball's gone, you get a more consistent putting stroke. So ultimately, what we're able to do with these, these eye movement recording glasses is get a really unobtrusive measure of where people are looking. There's no parallax error. The camera is right between the eyes of the golfer. It doesn't weigh too much. They make the stroke, but we can record that and then actually review that with an analysis package so we can do a slow motion replay of the golf stroke and use that to inform and give feedback to the golfer. What people such as myself, psychologists, do here in the School of Social and Health Sciences is we work with sports scientists and we kind of keep scores as people learn and improve during golf to quantify their improvement and learn more about how the brain sees the world and how the brain informs visually guided action.